reason I want to go through this exercise is to try to persuade you not to think about IPTV as only streaming video, but I want you to think about the internet as a medium for delivering video in a variety of different ways. What's interesting about the high speed and high storage con uh, capacity case, the upper right hand corner, is that you could clearly could deliver real time but you can also deliver video faster than real time. And this is what many people have trouble fully uh, recognizing, that when you have, for example, gigabit per second access to the internet, which by the way you can get in Japan for 8,700 yen a month, when you have a gigabit access to the net, you can download an hour's worth of video in 16 seconds. That is a different kind of video on demand than streaming video, which is what many people think of when they think of IPTV. In fact, the telcos that talk about putting video up on digital subscriber loops generally focus their arguments on the uh, pressure and stress of delivering video in real time. What I'm going to suggest to you is that you can deliver video slower than real time, you don't want to watch it, but you could record it if you have enough memory and play it back later. Or you could deliver video faster than real time, you don't want to watch it, but you store it and play it back later. You may not have to store it, wait very long to get it if the data rates are on the order of a gigabit. So there is a great deal more flexibility in the internet um, channel, so to speak, than just the streaming mode of operation. And so I'm anticipating, as time goes on, that there will be higher and higher speeds of access to the net, clearly higher speeds in the core of the net. We've gone from the days of the ARPANET, where the backbone was running at 50 kilobits per second, to 2007, where the backbone is running at 10 to 40 gigabits per second, a factor of a million. So there's still lots more uh, possibility for expanding data rates at the edge, and it's very clear that digital storage continues to get cheaper and cheaper. In fact, those of you who have iPods are already downloading music faster than you can listen to it. You download it and play it back as many times as you want. And I think that if we had a V-Pod for uh, video uh, uh, casting, uh, we would see the same kinds of behavior. Yeah.